Okay guys, I think I have unlocked the formula. The formula is part of the trinity of manga that I have been talking about. And the trinity goes as one, you must achieve the manga aesthetic for the character designs. Meaning your characters have to look like an actual Japanese manga. It can't look like a American cartoon show or a kid's coloring book. That's number one. Number two is the paneling. And number three is uh, the formula. I have unlocked the formula now. At least I think I do. And I'm going to show you how I was playing around with this. But how I discovered it was it's actually the size of the paper and how you position each panel um, according to the negative space on the paper. This current paper, this current canvas you see here, this is A4 paper, right? I draw on normal um, A4 paper, you know, that printing paper. So you're going to see when I increase the size to B4 size paper, and then I'm going to have all those guides where there's a cutoff and all that. Uh, let me share an example with uh, this, this page here. This page, oh, it was a lot smaller because it was A4, but after I increased it to B4 and included the, the details here, right, where the cutoffs and everything are, everything just changed. Now, this specific page is not very dynamic and all that, but the use of negative space creates something you wouldn't be able to achieve if you kept using this A4 paper. Whoops, this one, right? So you wanna see the difference. Along, I did it as well for this page. Uh, and this page definitely achieves the formula. When I hit this, when I changed everything here, I was like, oh snap. That's it. This is the formula. It has been achieved. It has been achieved. Now, obviously, uh, it's going to take more practice for me to get used to this formula, but it's really simple. It's just about learning how to correctly position the panels and the characters within a good use of the negative space on the whole page as a whole. That's pretty much it. And uh, hey, I was, not that I was actively studying the use of negative space and all, but I would say that I was uh, cautious of how I was using negative space. And so when I changed the paper to the B4 size and followed the guides, um, yeah, everything just worked so well and the formula was achieved. And so even this page here, um, I don't want to spoil too much for chapter 11, but even for this page here, uh, it was A4, but after I resized it again, the formula just worked so well. The amount, man, it looks so great. It looks so great. It looks more like a manga thanks to just the understanding of the formula, the understanding of negative space, and knowing where the cutoff stuff is really right so uh young wavy really helped me out with understanding this uh this cut off thing so like this part right here will be cut off uh when it's actually printed but when you look at the page as a whole in digital format it just looks so wholesome it looks so so wholesome and that's that's what i've always wanted to achieve that the, the page as a whole, I want it to be a work of art. But of course, when you resize everything, um, you have to do some minor edits. And that's my own fault for not understanding this in prior years. So like this, um, this part here, I'm gonna have to add more of these lines just to follow the flow of things. Um, so yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be editing a page here together in real time. 
and uh, to see what it's going to look like uh, with the formula in play, with the formula in use. So bear with me here. But yeah, it looks so cool. It looks really, really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of it. And uh, thanks to everybody who was trying to help a dude out. You know, I appreciate it. Let me quickly save this. Uh, this chapter is 20 pages. And no, I will no longer be releasing it for free. Um, I'm not. I'm just trying to build some dignity for myself. Uh, even Queenie Chan said, hey, you cannot release your stuff for free. Um, anyway, let's, but I'll, I'll relay those details as to like, okay, where can you guys get this and so on and so on. Let, let's look at this page before I go to uh, this one, right? This page, basically, this is what it looked like. Undo. This is what it looked like. You see already how everything seems so boxed in, so squeezed in right the, the the style might be there the paneling might be there but there is not enough breathing room you know it feels totally boxed in and so upon changing the page size we want to change it now it's a4 to b4 here we are right there's going to be a lot more breathing room uh now let us uh import Let's import this page. Uh, this example here for the cutoffs and all. Yeah, my PC be slow and all. Uh, I don't have Mongo Studio EX, so yeah, don't make fun of me. I can't afford that thing and besides you can't own it anymore you'll own nothing and be happy remember they want us to rent the thing like flipping uh, Adobe so now that I've put in the the guides right we're going to resize everything to make sure that it fits within the cutoffs right I highlighted all those layers and then I Pick that tool, whatever you call it, the resize tool. And here you pretty much play around with it. Just gotta play around with it. Um, let's see. Because at the end of the day, I don't want it to... I need to keep the consistency of the breathing space and you see this part I don't want this part really cut off I don't want Jacob's chest to be completely cut off over there and I don't want uh, Lisa's head to be cut off either so that means now I have a lot of space um, over here at the bottom to fill in with the blacks it's a tad annoying and uh, a guy asked me like, okay, so with the blacks, is this like falling into a uh, flashback? No, I have, uh, I've been looking at American comic book paneling as well. And I like the use of blacks uh, that they, they put in there. And I was like, I want to use it. Why? Because I like the contrast. A very good manga page is a page that has very good contrast. That it's very balanced or the use of contrast is within the context and uh, here it's definitely within the context so already there is more breathing room but now I have to sort out this problem here this problem of these white areas so let's quickly do that so I draw traditionally and then I scan it in and I do what I do here. I think this is the first time like I'm doing a tutorial in like 
many, many years. Do that. And then we're doing the same here. Same here. And then for this area. Um, it just takes time, you know. And of course, it be my own fault for you know, not really understanding this thing a lot sooner. But that's what it means to, you know, learn and grow. And of course that looks, doesn't look like, uh, hmm, it doesn't look, it, it looks separated because of that line over there. So what I can do, Pose is just do this. Ah, nuts. I guess I'm gonna have to start another layer. Okay, something like that. And then once it's like that. Erase these areas. Whoops. <coughs> oh boy, the flu trying to get me. Okay, and then we'll create this. Little uh, selector here, then you raise everything inside so everything is balanced. And let's see. I Chihuahua, it is slightly jacked, but. Let us do this instead then, in which I suppose I will have to erase, erase this whole area, just like that. So clearly you can see that this thing is a trial and error, you know, you ain't going to get it day one. Some of you might, lucky you, big brain, whatever, but the rest of us, uh, we got to play around with it, but you're going to notice the difference. Um, then we'll get our shading tool thing here. I really like this tool. If you haven't noticed already. Okay. There we go. Um and then I'm going to have to draw We'll add some stuff to to the smoke over here. It will be cut off, but uh, when you view the image digitally, um, you're gonna be able to see everything. Okay. Obviously I have to add the dialogue and all, but I'll do that later. Uh, not for this video. Line weight is important. If you want to add a little bit of oomph, a little bit of emphasis. Let me erase 
this gradient here. And then I'm going to select it again and use my shading tool. And here we are. And just like that, there is more breathing room. Now you can say, well, the black here is suffocating me, blah, blah, blah. It's in the context of the story, but it, it doesn't have that squeezed in feeling anymore. It really, really doesn't. So that's pretty much the formula um, thus far that I've discovered. I will say that when you put the the speech bubbles like this particular page is going to have let me put where the speech bubbles actually will be um, Alex is going to be speaking here and Lisa will be speaking but I won't be putting speech bubbles it's just gonna be words there now when this happens you have to put your guides back in place. Apparently they say all uh, words have to be within this box, like this box here, this line. So, so be it. So Alex will be talking. He's going to be explaining what's happening to Jacob basically. And, and ideally, right, ideally, if you want to stick to tradition, because I noticed that traditionally, like hardcore traditionally, speech bubbles don't overlap between panels at all. It does add a very, very strict sort of look. Um, it does look cool, but it also depends on your art style, right? So in my case, my art style, I keeping it strictly traditional won't really work for me. I have to overlay, overlap a little bit um, between the, the, the speech bubbles and the panels. I have to overlap because my art style is the way it is. And so here, if I want to add a little bit more uh, razzmatazz before that let me move this a bit more this side there we go um oh technically i was supposed to which one is this one technically this whole panel here uh, I hadn't even figured out how I'm going to how I'm going to shade it really. Um, let's just try this. Mm, sort of works, sort of. Let's see when I actually. Do this. Trial and error, everybody, trial and error. See, th this is what I'm talking about. Is that this is what it means to study. This is what it means to dedicate time. You think I have all the time in the world to be doing this? I had a jacked up week. I'm sure some of you had a jacked up week. But at the end of the day, it's like whatever time you got, use it, right? Use it. I unlocked this formula because I was thinking about it, studying it, right? It was always in my head, meditating. What is it? What's going on? How? I wanted to understand. How many people want to actually understand the things that they say they like, the things that they say that they enjoy, the things they say that they are committed to? How many of them actually sit and meditate on how they can improve? How many? Not many, clearly. We've seen the standards that have been 
been dishing out on Manga Plus. You can say they are amateurs and all that. Dude, that's not an excuse. That's not an excuse. You're trying to be a pro, right? So let us see if you're actually trying over here, right? You can't just sit there and be like, oh, well, uh, I'm just having fun. Well, if, if, if you're having fun, then, then clearly you're not serious. Clearly, you are not serious at all. Okay. Let me um, use the soft eraser. Soft eraser. Increase it a bit. All right, poor Jacob. He's always getting beaten to a pulp. Uh, will that change? Well, of course, but uh, in reality, you know, whenever you're trying to change your circumstance, whenever you try to change fate, things don't go very well for you. And I want to add a little bit of a little bit of white here just for contrast sake, you know, a sense of movement as well in this dark space. Uh, just something like that, you know, and there you have it. I'm not done. I still want to add more lines here and there. But anyway, you get the idea. Now, let's get back to this. I'm gonna start from scratch here. And we want to edit this thing. How much time do I have? Um, you guys let me know if you like. Whoa, 22 minutes. Oh boy. Okay, let me try and hurry up. So, immediately right now, I'm going to go to edit. Canvas properties from A4 to B4. Look at the difference. See that? You see that? From this to that. Cool, see it? Let me raise some pencil marks, or messy marks, and then select the whole thing. Oh, before you select the whole thing, import the, the guide. And hurry, 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 hurry. There's the guide, decrease the opacity, resize it. Size it correctly. There you have it. And then select all of that, resize it. And here we are. Okay. Now clearly, this one, where's the cutoff? There it is, I didn't touch the cutoff. Um, oops. This panel here, it'll be, it'll be cut off. Um, I'm looking, I'm looking. Gotta achieve that right balance, that everything is nicely centered. Okay. So in this page, Lisa is freaking out because it looks like Alex is actually trying to kill uh, Jacob here. But now, let me fix, increase this uh, panel size. I'm going to use this one over there. This will be cut off, but it's fine. Uh, come on now. It's kind of bent. But it doesn't matter, it'll be cut off by the bent area. And then 
gonna add this line there. Okay. And then just like that, we are set for additional edits. However, it looks like for Peter here, I'm going to have to resize Peter on his own because I need his legs. I don't want to draw his legs. So I need to resize the guy to the point where it will be cut off where he is. And voila, will be cut off there. Where is the cutoff on this side? Okay, there it is. It's fine. It's fine. And uh, now it's a matter of hiding that layers page or that guide page and now I take my textured pen and I just add more details to his jacket uh, so for those who've read chapter 10 this is the first time Peter was even revealed um, you're gonna he's a human being by the way so he's not a vampire he's just human you guys are gonna see him in action um, in the following chapters because somebody is coming to town and uh, Alex is gonna have to leave town and Peter's gonna have to step in so it's gonna be one heck of a fight Okay. Um, everything seems fine. You see, sometimes the sucky thing with working traditionally, did I even erase this? I think I did. There are areas like within these spaces here that you have to get rid of, right? Because they are, they are gray zones within the space. If you don't get rid of it, it's going to look a bit pixelated, but then when you do get rid of it, uh, some of the lines get much thinner and then, well, yeah, the whole page, then you have to go through it with your pen again to make everything stand out like that. So it's a bit of a hassle when you're doing it uh, traditionally, but hey, I have to work traditionally. I don't have the power on 24-7. Uh, so I had to learn that, bro, look, you're gonna just, you're just gonna have to uh, get used to working traditionally here. And it's fine because working digitally hurts my eyes. I don't have the blue light protection thing yet. So it's fine and I'm a lot quicker traditionally anyways. So Peter grabs Lisa here as she was trying to go help um, Jacob to stop Alex from murdering him. And uh, Peter pretty much tells her that, hey, look, don't get involved, woman. Like, it's, it's now or never something like that. Okay, especially like these lines. You see how grayed out these lines are? That's why I'm going over them. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, well, let me finish this and then I'll show you the before and after. All right, this is the completed page now um, so for those who are producers of manga and not consumers 
you are able to see the difference, right? You are able to see what I'm talking about when it comes to the formula, right? And now that I pretty much broke it down as to it's how you position the panels, right? With the good use of negative space and, and sticking to the guidelines found in this uh, manga page template. So yeah, let's look at it this way. Um, so it's a, uh, how can I even explain this, man? I mean, I'm still new at this, but it just looks the way it's supposed to look. And for this part here, this is where it's gonna get cut off. So I decided to just leave it like that. Doesn't really matter. Um, it still works, still cool. Uh, and for this page, this is page 13. So this is page 13 again, but um, this is the A4 version, right? Now I'm going to go to the new version. Now, some of you might say, well, you just made everything smaller within the page. I don't see a difference. If you don't see the difference, it's either that you're new at this or you're just a consumer and probably a zombie one at that. Um, but ultimately, I can see the difference here. I can see the difference. That thing I spoke about, that there's a certain sharpness about this formula. I didn't understand what made it so sharp. What about it? I get it now. And uh, of course, this is my first time actually uh, doing things according to the formula. So I need more practice in order to perfect the formula. So this is the new page. This is the old page. New, old, new, old, right? But hey, not many people want to understand this. Only those who have, uh, who are producers and not consumers. Um, so this one as well, this is the new page, old page, new page, old page. It really does look like I just made everything smaller, but it's not. It's really, really not like you don't get it. If you don't get it, you don't get it, man. Um, you're just not an artist. Sorry. Right. If you claim to be one and you're out there drawing garbage because you're getting compliments for it, then you're not serious. This is what it means to be serious, man. This is what it means to try and go beyond trying to figure these formulas out, trying to commit to the craft, right? show that you actually respect what the heck you're doing instead of just randomly doing it and creating your own weird standards. Oh no, I just noticed something here that you can't even see the full page. Damn it. Can't even see the full page, but you can see it here, I suppose. Uh, you can see it here because I can zoom out here and here, I can't necessarily zoom out at all. Nope, I can't zoom out. Oh well, sorry about that. But ultimately, yeah, I managed to unlock the formula and I'm very satisfied. It was a crazy journey and I'm speaking as if I made it somewhere, but not really, but I did make it to a new level a new level of understanding. And that alone is going to make me improve. So that's the attitude you guys ought to have instead of just, you know, doing things by your own standards and fine. If you want to do that, so be it. But it's because you have fear to go beyond because you think you might not make a return of investment. But if that's truly your fear, it means you know you suck. That's the plain truth. It means you know that you suck plain and simple right everybody started off somewhere okay if you know you're terrible how's about you just work a little bit harder how's about you just study the thing and figure things out okay so anyways uh yeah that's it for now uh, this took a while and it's going to take a while to re-edit everything i am going to uh draw new things for volume one and I'm going to obviously edit uh, all of volume one. So chapters one to eight, 
and I'm going to repackage that whole thing and uh, well, be able to sell it online, something like that. So for now, I'm just going to uh, fix everything that I gotta fix. And then chapter 12, I don't know when I'll start working on that, but it's gonna be super interesting. But yeah, guys, let me know if you if you enjoyed this like step-by-step -step thing where I'm figuring things out and you're watching me do it, so on and so on. But yeah, until next time.